and know it's time. A rite of passage with the field as a classroom and hash marks as guidelines. We see teammates becoming friends, friends becoming brothers. We see moms and dads standing taller as their kids dig deeper. We hear laughter and lectures, pads popping, praises sung through a face mask, echoing over proving grounds, where character grows stronger and lessons last a lifetime. But we also feel the power of teamwork and the magic of mutual goals. We feel the emotions of triumph and loss, the development and growth of team. And that's why we do what we must to certify coaches are trained, to verify safety measures are taken, testify about the values of the game, to strive relentlessly to satisfy every player and coach's desire to be better. We are caretakers of playing fields that yield enriched lives, teachers and protectors of an American tradition. It is a responsibility we all take seriously, a challenge we all must embrace because we are forever football. And uh, welcome back once again to Northeastern Ohio. We are watching uh, USA football development games from Perry High School in Maslin, Ohio. This is game number two of a four-game slate today coming at you compliments of USA football. I'm the mellow tones of Charlie Jones and my booth buddy for game number two, Mr. Bruce Winter. We are the big-time sports guys from Big Time Sports in northeastern Ohio. Bruce had a good game number one and uh, the red team of course the victor. Game number two just about ready to go. We're downfield uh, we're watching the coin toss now but Bruce you've seen a lot of these games. We started out with an 11 game schedule. This of course is game number nine and uh, at the end of today, it will wrap up 11 game schedule. Let's go now to our players to watch in today's uh, football games. And here they are, compliments of Siege Sports. I have players to watch today. Uh, number five, the quarterback, Trey Knight out of Virginia for the blue team. And also number 25, Nicholas. Tardanico, a defensive back out of Massachusetts. All right, let's go now to the uh, white team, Bruce Winter. For the white team, Francesco Espana, running back out of Illinois, and number 96, Andrew Cervantes, a defensive lineman out of Texas. All right, so those, of course, are players to watch today. And with that coin toss, the officials, and the officials are local officials. Can't uh, recognize any of them from way up here in the broadcast booth, but these officials are from the Stark County area here in northeastern Ohio. The video partner of uh, these games is Image Video. Image Video from North Canton, Ohio. The guys in the broadcast booth from Big Time Sports Ohio.com. So here we go. The coin toss. They'll go back to their protective benches now and get their last minute instruction. So hang on tight because we have seen nothing but good football so far in these development games. And Bruce, let's remind the people that these are middle school the athletes here like today. To right, and uh, this is a development league, not a league, but a development camp. 
right out. Players come into from all over the country. Uh, they go to regional tryout camps and then are selected to come here to Canton, Ohio. And they are divided up into teams. What is there, about 350, 60, 80 of them yeah, here lot of, for the week? A lot of kids right over here at Walsh University in North Canton. So the ball will be spotted to begin the game at the 35-yard line. And like game number one, game number two will only be 10-minute quarters. And uh, Bruce, you and I are glad of that, and I can imagine what those kids down on the field are, are feeling. Yeah, they're doing that prime just strictly because of the heat situation. Last time I looked at my uh, phone, it said the temperature was 85, but felt like 91 out there. So you can tack on about another 15 or 20 degrees down on that artificial surface. Yeah, right now it's only about 5 till about 11 a.m. here in Northeastern Ohio. So the white team will start things off with the football. Let's take a look now, first snap of the ball game. The quarterback will give it to the tailback, the tailback with the football. Wow, this is Fabian Ross, number 30, with the first carry of the game. And Fabian Ross is out of the great state of Nevada. All right, tell me where Nathan McCahill, McCahill is the quarterback, where's he coming he's from? He's coming out of Indiana. Wow, he's a Hoosier, huh? Yes, he is. All right. So McKay Hill will give it again out of the backfield. The carry will be up to the 40-yard line. Tackled by number 70. So a pretty decent pickup on the carry. Well, we've just been informed, Charlie, that number there's two number 30s on the white team. Number 30 on the offense is Cade Euling, a running back out of California. And there he is on the play. That's Cade Euling. All right. And Fabian Ross is a defensive back out of, out of Nevada. All right, so thank you for that update on the roster, third and five. Ball on the 30. Here's a give. I'll tell you what, head down north and south, baby. Down to the 47-yard line and let's yeah, move the chains and uh, give, him a, give him a first down so on the play. And once again is Cade Euling. See they pull the tight end. Good job by the offensive lineman. It's up about seven on the first down. White with McKay Hill in charge. Nathan McKay Hill. Uh oh, snap is over his head and fight for the loose football. It's on the carpet and Blue is going to come up with the football. Yeah, big play by the Blue team there. Check it out and see who comes up with it. Big number 70, that's Sean Hardeman, a defensive lineman, number 70, Sean Hardeman with the fumble. How about it, Bruce? Sean's out of. Massachusetts defensive lineman. Great field position here for the blue team early in the first quarter. Well, let's see now, Bruce, if uh, the blue team can take advantage of the uh, of the fumble now. They'll operate it from about the 36 yard line. The give the first back through. Down to about the 30. Well, back to the original line of scrimmage, it looks like. Quarterbacks to Leak Steele out of South Carolina, number 28 for the blue team. Steele will give it. This time, Rion Cruz. Cruz will take it inside the 30, down to the 29-yard line. Pick up of about six on the carry. And Rion Cruz is out of the state of Washington. Let's call it third and four, four now ago. from the 28. Early action here in the first period. 7.20 to play in number one. A lot of heat that time. The quarterback had no chance at all. And Bruce, that linebacker coming at him like, who was it? That was Jarno, Jarno Huzzy Jr. out of Georgia put the heat on there. And uh, made him through too quick. And we're going to bring up fourth down. All right, so fourth and four, so they need a first down here to keep the football. 
He's going to tuck it and take it, but he is not going to get the first down. He's going to get back to the 32-yard line, and that is where the blue team is going to give up the football. And sacked in there by number 85 of the white team defensive lineman out of Oklahoma, Carlos Torres. Now you see the replay and uh, getting hit there. A the good defensive stand by the white team after they cough the ball up down deep in their own territory. Good defensive stand to keep the blue out of the end zone. All right, so let's check it out now. I think we got a new quarterback already, Andrew St St <laughs> Stakovich. Andrew Stakovich at quarterback now. We'll give it to the running back. We'll take it down to the 42-yard line Andrew, and out of the backfield. Number 26 is Andrew Majadi. Andrew Pick up of about nine on the play. Brings up second Steph down. Steph quarterback out of Virginia. Nice size in these players for middle school yes, players. You, you'd never know it uh, just by watching them. On the outside, and uh, this one is going to go the distance for the white touchdown. And Bruce, it does not take long to get some points on the board today. 58 yards on the uh, catch and run for the touchdown. All right, here it is again. Check it out on our replay. Just a quick pass out to the right side. That's Stokovich wow. to Margiota, the wide receiver out of Virginia. Number 90, Jackson Andrew Margiota with the catch and the touchdown. All right, so for the point after, Jackson Landrum will make the kick. Kick is up. They say the kick is no good. Wide right. And the kick is so no Jackson good. Landrum did not first. get it through. The board, six to nothing. So with 6.26 to play in the first quarter, we've got ourselves a, a zip, zip ball game here at Panther Stadium. And that's kind of been all day long. It's all big plays for touchdowns. Haven't had any really sustained drives. There have been long pass plays or people breaking long runs. For touchdown. All right, let's talk now about the good people at Rydell. Rydell's the industry leader in football head protection and is proud to support the U.S. national team as USA football's official helmet and protective equipment partner. Thank you, a supporter of USA football, the good people at Rydell. So, Bruce, the uh, USA football have, has a lot of faithful partners helping them out. Yeah, a lot of good sponsors. Yep. This time he'll cut inside with the football. Number and he will Ryan be Rion Cruz. Uh, Cruz will Tackle take it down to the 43. Wilford. Here it is again Pick on your replay. See, good run, good hole opened up by the offensive lineman. Yep, pickup of eight, second and two. Here's the uh, first down, down to the 49 the yard line. Again, this is Rion Cruz. Uh, by number 17. For the Richard blue. McCoy. McCoy. 5.48 to play. Clock moving here in the first period. USA development game football action from Maslin, Ohio, and Perry High School. There's the snap. Quarterback is going to tuck it. He's going to keep it. He's going to take it down to the 45 Steel yard line. So Nick Steele with the Tackle quarterback keeper. All right. Replay is going to show you. Steele. Second and seven. Ball on the 46. Steele. Quickly now. Out to the right side to the wide receiver who's going to take it down to the 35. So That's Baron Bradley. Baron Bradley is your receiver with the five yard team. pickup. And Baron's out of Texas. See, good throw over yeah. here. Good block downfield right there by uh, number 23. Gets him some extra yards. Yeah, That's uh, Caden Padgett out of Florida. Blue team with the ball on the ground. Blue team taking it down inside the 30. Rion Cruz again, and 
Cruz is getting a, uh, getting a workout here early in the game, Rich. Yeah, and good job by the uh, offensive linemen here from the blue team, Garrett Chody, Caden Parrish, Sean Banks, Vincent Strimmel, Cage Sales, and tight end is Donald Toner III. From the 29 now, the blue with the snap. Quarterback will keep it. Quarterback will get it up. The uh, 26 yard line. So I'm going to give him a pickup of what? Three on the carry, Bruce? Yeah, it's going to be close. Going to be about a yard short. Going to bring up third and one. Here's the replay, Charlie. Good job getting up inside. Long white jerseys there on the tackle. One of them was number 45, Drew DeMorick, linebacker out of New Jersey. And uh, did he get, well, I think he barely got the yeah. first down, right? I think they're going to give it to him. He was driven back after he got over the 25-yard line. You can see right here. Gets up inside. Yep, falls forward, picks up the first down. All right. Back to action now. Here it is. The ball into the end zone. Had the receiver out there, but a little bit overthrown that time into the corner of the end zone. And intended, intended receiver was Caden Patrick out of Florida. You can see it down, out, and up. Good protection by the offensive line. Good throw. Just, you know, throws it where only the receiver could possibly get to it, but a little long. Second 10 now. Second 10 from the 24 inside. I'll tell you what, back to the original line of scrimmage. Good D that time by the White. Yeah, that was Drew DeMorat again, that linebacker out of New Jersey on the tackle. See him right there. Now call it third and 10. Blue with the football. Blue quarterback to leak steel with the football. No, we'll tuck it, we'll keep it. Good fake out of the backfield. One day one, he tucked it, and he, but he kept it and had everybody full. That was that read play. That's going to be real close, but I think he's just a little, little short on that. You see the read right there, good read. Tucks it up inside, and it's going to bring up about a fourth and two. Uh-oh, loose football, picks it back up. He got it back. Same play again. Bounced right back up to him, Charlie, and going to be enough for a first down. Yeah, that was almost a nightmare, but it turned into a uh, turned into a nice dream there as they kept the football. But more importantly, they picked up the first down on the fumble. Once again, it was that zone read play with the quarterback uh, number uh, 28, Talik Steele, pulling it back in. Steele. This time we'll give it. Running back will take it down to the seven yard line. Brandon Casamajor. Watch Casamajor with the football. You see it's uh, number 21. Rion Cruz. Rion Cruz, the running back out of Washington. He's been a load. He's, he's toted the ball quite a bit here in the first quarter. This has been, you know, just the real sustained drive uh, that we've uh, seen today. All right, check it out. Inside, inside the five, down to the four-yard line. Yep, check this out now. Here's the carry out of the backfield. That was number 49. Brendan Casamajor, running back out of Massachusetts. Trying to get wide, try, trying to get in. He is not going to make it, and he's going to fumble the football at the goal line. He tried to stick it over, tried to break the plane. There's, there's a good job by the uh, white defenders. I believe that was number 50. Out there on number, there's 70, yep, there's 50. Good job by number 50. And that's Jarno Huzzy Jr. out of Georgia. All right, so check it now from the one. Uh-oh, guess what? That time they're gonna slam 
the door. They gave the football to uh, your buddy number 49 yeah, again, Bruce. Yeah, I think he might even pulled it out. It might have been a read play. They came with an unbalanced line that time. Got a penalty flag down. Check it out on the replay, See, Bruce. it's unbalanced right. It's a read play. He actually pulled it back out. And they got a face mask penalty, so rather than being a loss, it's actually going to move it back up to the two-yard line. Yeah. And guess what? First and goal from the two, is that right? Yes. In the driver's seat. The guys in the blue. Boy, I'll tell you what, that's tough sledding in there. Wow. He's going to keep his feet, and they're going to mark it again at the original line of scrimmage. Yeah, a lot of penetration in there. Actually met him about two or three yards deep in the backfield. But uh, Cass Major kept his feet yeah. moving and uh, took it down to about the one-yard line. End of the first quarter, Charlie. All right, so that concludes yeah, first period of action. Oh, Score six, yeah. zip. We will be back with more USA football development games after this. Time out. Saying this is sports performance, whether we're talking about Olympic athletes or middle school and high school athletes, the foundation is the same. We want to remove dysfunction and then build upon their sports-specific movements to allow them to function at a very high level on and off the field. The icon of the game. The icon of competition. The icon of athleticism. The icon of fandom. The icon of the future. The future of football is now. And welcome back once again to uh, USA Football. The score after our first period six nothing we got a good game going here in game number two four games today on the slate and uh, this will conclude Bruce uh, these kids have been up here for like three weeks now all right learning football getting to know each other they're doing all going through all the aches and pains uh, just to play here today because they do well here today all right they're gonna go they're going to advance in the USA football program. Let's go back to that goal line stand, Bruce. Now you can see right here, penetration. They met him about the six-yard line. He Casa Major keeps the feet moving, takes it all the way down to about the one or two-yard line. Good job. He's a load right now. Going to bring up uh, second down and goal on a one yard line and the blue teams ha has had the ball for quite a while this is the first real sustained drive of any kind that we've seen even in the first game well you got to feel good about your offense bruce your your second and goal you know from the one and you're coming out of a uh, of a timeout at the end of the quarter so you should be fired up ready to go and everybody on the same page. All right, then. You got uh, Cruz and number 28, Steele, in the backfield here. All right, so with that, and did he get in? They're going to give him the touchdown. He On the nose dive over the goal line, the blue is going to get in for the touchdown. Right, and the the blue, blue guy, of course, Rion Cruz the with the touchdown. Cruz, one yard run. Here it is again on the replay. You see the read play again. This is more of a handoff than a read. They get penetration, trip him up, but keeps his number balance and gets into the end zone. Number three. All right, Parker number three is Parker Hannon. Parker Hannon will try the PAT, the holder, David DeLorio, with the hold. There's a kick. I like it. Looks good from up yeah, here. The officials say they like it too. So we got a dandy again. We've got a 7 6 ball game with just under 10 minutes to play here in the period. 
Took a lot of time off the clock that time. Nice sustained drive. Blue team uh, went to work. Got into the end zone to take the lead at 7-6. And once again in this game, Charlie, you see there's no live kicking. That's why they didn't rush the extra point. There's no kickoffs, no punt returns. They do punt the football, but you just take the ball where it is uh, fielded on the punts. But to kick after a touchdown, it always comes back out to the 35-yard line. All right, so from the 35-yard line, The white team with the football. We're playing, we're playing 10 minute quarters here today and all four games will involve middle school football player. Blues football bounced right up into the hands of the blue defender, Bruce, and that looks like number 88. Blue, that's uh, Trey Toner the third. Wow. You can see it didn't get a very good mesh and handoff and the ball came loose. Trey, Trey Toner the third out of Minnesota jumps on that ball in great field position for the blue team again. All right, so big break to start the uh, second period now. So blue. All fired up from that last touchdown they just scored. We'll bring the offense back out on the field. Yep, just scored seven seconds ago, and now they have the ball back deep in the white territory at about the 28-yard line. From the 29. Quarterback will drop. Quarterback will throw downfield right across the middle. This is a touchdown. And I'll tell you what, doesn't get any easier than that. And that is number 11, Baron Bradley. Bradley finds a seam right down the middle. The, the quarterback is going to put this one right on the money. That's quarterback's number 10. Man, he zips it right in there. Wide open, good move. Turns up field. 28-yard touchdown. All right, so Jaden Nurschel. Jaden Nurschel, the quarterback, with a nice pass hitting the receiver on stride, baby, on the numbers for the touchdown. The touchdown, of course, caught by and Baron Bradley. Good, and the PAT, again, is good. And That'll make it now 14 six. to 6 in the ballgame. And with that, I want to thank our good friends from Siege Sports. Siege Sports is not only the sponsors of our players to watch, but Siege Sports is proud to be the official uniform partner of the U.S. national team. Be sure to follow Siege Sports on Twitter to check out the custom uniforms and apparel they create for high school and college teams nationwide. To learn more, Visit SiegeSports.com. Yeah, on a quick 16 seconds, Charlie, the blue team went from a 6-0 deficit to a 14-6 lead. Doesn't take long. Not a whole lot of room that time. Up to the 37 pickup of two on the carry. Cameron, Cameron Garrity running back out of Massachusetts, number 28. Toting the pig skin that time for the white. Nine ten remaining in the first half. Quarterback will keep it. Quarterback in a lot of trouble. Number twelve. Uh, That's Keyshawn. Keyshawn Harris, Harris is the quarterback. Number twelve for the white team out of Texas. Check it out again, Bruce. Here's the replay coming at you. Off the read play again. Good job. That's number 47 from the blue team. Keelan Green, linebacker out of Massachusetts. Third and seven out from the 38. USA development game football. Middle school action coming at you this morning. Keyshawn. The quarterback still on his feet. Keyshawn, can he outrun him? He's going to outrun him. He's going to get 
all the way down to the five yard line. And wow, I'll tell you what, I thought he was going to get in. That's about a 65 yard run, and he's finally brought down. You can see a good move right there. Looks like he's all the way to the end zone, but number 26 right there. Good job of running him down. That's Caleb Smith out of Illinois for the blue team. All right, 14 to six, clock running with eight minutes to play now. In the half. Can't get back to the original line of scrimmage out of the backfield at number 18, Nigel Moore. Nigel Moore out of South Carolina. Well, they're going to spot it at about the uh, seven yard line now. Second goal. Yeah. Second and goal from the seven. The white team knocking on the door. I'm sure they want to punch it in. Get right back in this game. Oh, uh, how about that? Wide open. Somebody at DB came up, Bruce, came up, and all alone was Andre Powell Jr. Watch the flip from the quarterback for the easy touchdown. And I think it's I think it's a running play. They're lucky they don't have anybody down, uh, any lineman downfield, but that was a great ad lib job there uh, by the quarterback, uh, number 12, uh, Keyshawn Harris. Number 90, Jackson All right, so that'll make it 14 12 now, so let's try the uh, point after. The uh, holder will be uh, Andrew Stakovich. Stakovich, the holder. He'll take the snap. He'll place it. Ball is down. Kick is up. Well, I'll tell you what, they say it is good. And Bruce, who was that with the kick? I could have catch the number. All right. So with that 14 to 13 now, only a one point ball game is all that separates these two squads. It's USA football. And for those of you who may want to get involved or get more information on USA football, go to usafootball.com. If you want to learn more about high school sports in Northeastern Ohio, you want to go to bigtimesportsohio.com. So they're going to take just a little bit of a break. The, the officials who, Bruce, who are not quite as young as these middle school kids. And not quite as in shape. No, that's true. That's true. Need a little extra break every now and then to get some fluids in them. So uh, they just did that. Trying to stay safe, keeping hydrated here today in this hot, humid northeastern Ohio weather. 7.04 to play in the first half. We got a 14. 13 contest and the blue team with that slim one point lead now with the football. The give out of the backfield is to Leighton Carr. Leighton Carr, the running back, his first carry of the ball game. Going to take it down to the uh, 42 yard line. Check it out, Bruce. Good job there. Good kick out on the end. Carr turns it upfield. Carr's out of Mississippi. Here's a snap, a low slant. He'll get it again. Leighton Carr, head Number down, eight, maybe a yard on the carry. Bruce, can we give him a yard? Yeah, we'll give him a yard, but he's still going to be Number about a yard Number short. Three. So going to bring up third and a long Number yard, one. maybe even two yards for the first down. Directing See. the guys out there. Quarterback's number 10, Jaden Nershel out of Florida. He's used to this heat and humidity. Yes, he is. He keeps the football. He makes it. He's going to be short, Charlie. I think he is, too. Good D that time. Had a linebacker shooting the gap there very quickly. Here it is again. Watch it as it comes into your living room. Right there from the outside, that's number 30. 
That's Fabian Ross, the defensive back out of Nevada. Well, we've called his name before. Fourth down. Yep, the give. Car again. Oh man, good second effort. That's gonna be close with that second effort. But I think they're gonna mark him a little short. Well, I don't Nevada know, you can't get. Wow, check this out, this is close. Yeah. Good job, because he's hit deep in the backfield right here, and he keeps those feet moving, churning. But guess what? They've already signaled. No first down. Let's go to the other way with the football. All right, so possession will be at the 44-yard line. 14-13. USA football coming at you. The trifecta, the partners for USA development game football. The USA football guys image video of North Canton and Big Time Sports Ohio. Bringing you exciting middle school action today with four big games. So the clock stopped with five and a half to play. First half of game number two of four today. Boy, they're gonna split them out wide. We got one running back in the backfield. We got whistles on the play. Keyshawn yeah, Harris. Legal we'll procedure. On the offense. Five yard penalty, still first down. Bring up a first and 15 now. Harris, Harris is the quarterback again, Charlie. Yep. Got him spread out, trips to the top. Second and a 15. Don't look, slant in wide open down the middle. He's got some running room. This play worked pretty darn good that time as Andre Powell Jr. wide open down the middle. Yeah, that was a good job by Harris, good read. His first receiver looked like he was going to try to throw the uh, little flare pass. It was covered well, and he picks out the secondary receiver there in the middle of the field and picks up a first down. At the 32, white team on the move. Keyshawn Harris running the show for the white. And this time, number 28, number Cameron, Cameron Garrity. Garrity had no chance at on Bruce. Big number 88 is who? That's Trey Toner. He's the guy that picked up the uh, fumble that one into the backfield for the sack. Wow. All right. So Toner with another good defensive play for the Blue. Second, 15 from the 37. Harris looks at the football. The snap goes over his head. He's in deep, 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 deep trouble. He's going to try to run out of it, but he's going to be knocked down all the way back at the 45-yard line, and that is a huge loss on the bad snap. Yeah, Trey Toner once again was the first one to get to him, and then number 52, Blake Gotcher, finishes him off. You can see Toner spins him around, and there's 52. Blake Gotcher, linebacker out of Texas. Big, yeah, huge point. loss. It's going to bring up third and about 30 some. Yeah, yeah, scoreboard. Yep, third and call it 28. Here's a snap again. Keyshawn Harris will throw it out to the left side. Pass is caught. Advance to the 45 yard line of the blue. Otari Hibbets. Wide receiver out of Massachusetts on the reception. Good job by the blue team. Just kept everything in front of them. Gave them a few yards and still going to bring up about fourth and 23 yards. So they're going to have to punt. All right, so the kick. Going to be fielded at the 25-yard uh, line. Taken by number 52, Blake Gotcher. So change of possession, Bruce. Blue takes over. First and 10 from their own. USA uh, football. Development games. 
here in northeastern Ohio. We started out with a schedule of 11 games. This is game number nine. We've got two more for you a little bit later on today. And Bruce, you would never know if you just tune in and, and watch a couple plays, you'd never know these were middle school athletes. Some nice athletes out there. Once again, trying to refine their skills and they're only gonna get better. Well, the ball will be spotted at the uh, 25 yard line. 302 to play first half here. Game number two. With the ball down to about the 29 yard number line. This is Rion Cruz. Uh, Cruz has been the workhorse here uh, for the Blue. He sure has. Nice size, nice build on that young man. Here it is again on our replay. That's a re off the read again. Operating now from the 28 second and six. Here comes the heat. The heat is there and the heat is going to burn him at about the 26 yard line. Good job once again out there off the uh, edge. That's number 30 and number 30 Fabian Ross. Right here you can see he gets penetration. And then number 18. Uh, Nigel Moore out of South Carolina finishes the playoff third and long. Yep, from the uh, 19 now. Got room to got room to take it. He will. Nice cut inside. Good cut outside. He's got wheels. He's gonna pick it up and put him down. Now he's gonna cut again to the inside, and he's gonna be caught from behind her he was in the end zone but finally run down from behind by Nigel Moore for the white about a 55 yard run out of this broken play you can see he pulls it down I think the white team was in man to man and all the D backs were running downfield with the receivers a couple of nice cuts and then eventually he's run down by number 18 Nigel Moore all right, so with a minute 27 to play, the blue team. Number 21, Ryan Cruz with the two. Wow, Rion Cruz again will take it inside the 20, and down to the 19-yard line. Nice drive here. It looked like they were going to be stalled down there deep in their territory. Seven. 14, 13, a minute to play. Second and... Well, scoreboard says second and six now from the uh, 19. Probably going to have a uh, false start. All right, so a flag on the play. We got a false start. Oh, okay. Clock running, blue team uh, with the uh, football still, with the football Number down five, to the 10 Gregory now. Knight How about Gregory Knight with the football? Tackle Here's the run Number again two. by quarterback Gregory Number Knight. Two. And uh, off the read, he breaks one tackle. Nice couple of nice two. moves. Finally brought down by number 30 downfield. Fabian Ross. All right, 14 to 13. We got a one point ball game. We got 36 seconds to play in the first half. We have a timeout on the field. And with that timeout, while I've got a chance, I want to remind you that we've got two more football games coming at you today. Four games today from uh, Panther Stadium. And uh, Bruce, why don't why don't we talk about our good friends from McDavid? We want to thank them. The good people at McDavid are proud sponsors of USA football. 36 seconds. As the blue team will come out of the huddle now. The ball at the 10 yard line with the first down pickup, so 
First and goal now, Bruce, from the 10. Can the blue punch it in before time expires? Knight will give it. He'll bounce off. This is number 49, Brendan Casamajor with the football. Number 49, Brendan Casamajor. Going to take it down, take it down to the six yard line. See, good grind. He gets initial hit in the backfield, stops up, keeps the feet moving, picks up good yardage, positive yards. And into the corner of the end zone, makes it look real easy. That's Keon Johnson. Keon Johnson, the quarterback, on the keeper for the blue touchdown. Johnson untouched out of the backfield into the end zone for the blue TD. And pulls it down, flush him out of the pocket, gets out on the edge, breaks contain into the end zone for the touchdown. Puts him up 20, 20 to 13 with the extra point to come. Hannon will kick. Parker Hannon will get and the uh, extra Hannon point. So Parker throw. Hannon takes on 19. another point. 13. And with seven seconds to play now, a 21 13 ball game. 10 minute quarters today as a uh, safety precaution with the heat and humidity here in Northeastern Ohio. Bruce, what do you think of that drive? Well, once again, a couple of big plays, you know, the big 65 yard run, uh, you know, made that all possible for uh, the blue team. That's a good answer for the blue team because uh, White had actually scored two touchdowns in a row to bring it to 14 to 13. And uh, now it uh, looks like we're going to go in at halftime with a 21 13 lead by the blue. All right. So the blue at the line of scrimmage are waiting uh, the white offense with just seven seconds of play now uh, in the first half. See who uh, the white team uh, brings out. Got a new receiver in the contest. That's so number thirty-five, McKay Hill, quarterback. Uh oh! How about a little hook and ladder there, baby? Yeah. Didn't work very well, did it, buddy? Huh? Yeah. It's, that's a fun thing, all-star game type thing. They tried to pitch it to Cameron Andrews coming out of the backfield. All right, so that's going to end our first half of play. The score at halftime, 21-13. We'll be back with our second half action after you watch this. Heads Up Football is the best and in fact the only good way I know of changing the culture. It's really been about uh, creating a safer environment for our kids. Being the pilot program for Heads Up Football and me being the first player safety coach, it's completely changed everything. We're looking around going, why aren't we all doing this? There is nothing here that fundamentally changes the game of football. There's nothing here that we're not currently teaching. We're just teaching it in 25 different ways. And ultimately, there's the potential that we see a return that we're making the game safer. Everything evolves, everything grows, and this is the right thing, the most responsible thing to do. As a league administrator, I mean, I can't even imagine a program that doesn't do it. They adopted this because they love the game. But also, in a couple of years, the youth become high school players. It's an evolving project. Heads Up Football has changed the way we play. It's changed the way we practice, and it's changed the perception in the moms and dads. We have one consistent match of what we're talking about and how we're teaching our, our athletes to play the game. From ankle biter through 12th grade, we have one consistent curriculum. The continuity of the program at the youth level, executed all the way through the high school level, is so very important to the parent. 
it's kind of part of the fabric of what we do and how we coach now. It's just helped us be a better staff and a better community. First and foremost, uh, we've had fewer head injuries. We have seen a sound decrease in concussions, in, in collision injuries. We're able to, to show with data that there's a difference. You know, Centerville High School played in back-to-back -back state championships and had the fewest injuries of our 25 high schools. That's a big deal. It makes me feel better because I know that my son is safer. He would come home and show us the stuff that he's learning. I just felt great about that. I'm like, oh, I'm so glad Heads Up Football is teaching you that. We're making tackles now that maybe we wouldn't have made a couple, you know, a few years ago just because we, we constantly hammer in the, the basics. Through Heads Up Tackling, I definitely am a better player and a better tackler. Our generation is getting taught a different way to tackle, like this is the right way. I think that it's starting to uh, really pay off because our numbers, we're up 40 kids, um, which is huge. Wanting safer football is, you know, is, is absolutely the right thing for kids. Do this. Do it yesterday, both from the youth club level and then from the high school levels because this is only making this a better game, better, safer game. Protect what matters most. The USA Football Protection Tour is a series of free one-day football camps that educate youth football players, parents, and coaches on the importance of proper equipment fitting, tackling fundamentals, and CDC-approved concussion recognition and response protocols. Watch for this year's Protection Tour schedule and sign up today for an event near you. Welcome to the High School Football Playbook. And welcome back, everybody. We are just about ready for second half action here in game number two. The first half has been a great game, a lot of up and down, a lot of action. If you're a football fan, 21-13, and Booth buddy Bruce Witter, talk to me a little bit about that first half. Yeah, first half full of some big plays and so forth. Uh, we had uh, a 28-yard touchdown pass by the blue team. We had a 58-yard pass run catch by the white team. We had a couple of long runs to set up touchdowns. Uh, the blue team got out early, seven, uh, or white team got out to a 6-0 lead. Then the blue team scored two touchdowns. White team answered. Blue team answered back late with only seven seconds left in the uh, before half for their 21-13 lead. All right, so USA development game of football. Coming at you again today. This is week number three to catch all the action. 11 game development football game schedule. The game you are watching, just getting ready for third period, is game number nine of 11 games. So after this game concludes, be sure to come back uh, quickly for game number three right here. 
Bruce? If you're coaching the white team, what are you thinking at halftime? Well, I mean, you just got to keep, come out, do what you're doing. They, had, they answered a couple of nice, uh, you know, drives that the blue team had. You know, we've had a couple of turnovers here uh, lately, and the, the defense has started to step up. Most of the, most of the big plays have come on broken plays where the quarterback's been flushed out of the pocket and so forth because uh, we have some very athletic quarterbacks. All right, first play of the second half, and the give again is to Leighton Carr out of the backfield, and we'll take it down to the 43 yard line. No, 38, excuse me, 38 yard line. Pick up about three on the carry, call it second and seven now to begin our second half. Both of these teams have three quarterbacks, Charlie, so that's why you see, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, substituting in at the quarterback position and uh, right, running backs as well. And again, Leighton Carr will get it down to the 40. Well, the nose of the football just resting at the 45 yard line. So give him a first down. Yeah, they're going to move the chains, Bruce. Give him a again. first down on the carry. Read play again. Good job by the offensive line. Fakes the handoff, will keep it. The quarterback will be stopped at the line of scrimmage. Gregory Knight, number five, out of the backfield. No on the, play. the quarterback. Second down and ten. Call it second and ten now with the stop at the original line of scrimmage. Knight will give it. Good cut outside. Good cut outside again, but not quite enough as here we go. We got about 18 guys with Ladies white helmets now, knocking him down at the 43 right yard line. And a lot of white uh, pursuit there. Kept stretching it out. You'll see here, Charlie. Off the the play is gonna bring up good penetration well. there, first of all. A couple of missed tackles, but good pursuit by the white team. Loss of about two. Second and 12 from the 43. Pass is caught, pass is incomplete. That time the receiver, Jaden Nershaw, heard the linebacker coming right behind him full speed. Yeah, it looked like number 23, Champ Wright, a linebacker out of Oklahoma. Put the finishing touches on that incomplete pass. All right, so we are in a putt formation and for the blue team, it'll be Parker Hannon. And Bruce, after this punt, I want you to tell us everything you know about the good people from Cutter Gloves, all right? Here's the punt. Punt will be fielded at the 28 yard line and ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bruce Winter at the podium. Yeah, Cutter Gloves is one of the proud sponsors of USA Football. If you want to be the best, you have to wear the best. Cutter's football gloves and its grip technology are in a league of their own. Cutter's football gloves, the official glove of U.S. national team. All right, nice job, Bruce. I'm just glad you had your glasses on when I handed you that, that read. And it's in large print, so I can see it with my glasses. Yeah. <laughs> All right, from the 28 now, the white team with the football. High snap over the head, and this time the quarterback will go down for a loss on the bad snap from center. You can see it here, and he's high snap. Good, good penetration by number 70 from the blue loss team, Sean Hardeman, on the defensive play. lineman out of Massachusetts. Big loss, about 11 yards, second and 21. Yep, second and 21, ball. Back there, uh-oh, here we go. Little bit number of running room. Gonna nice get it to about the 27-yard uh, line. So pick up uh, seven on the carry. About 11, I think that's number 22. My Sean Wells running back out of Oklahoma. Good job there, keep the feet moving. Picked up about a little over 10. All right. 
Scoreboard says third and 11. Good ball game so far. Fake give to the running back. Running back cuts inside. Running back with a, some room. And I'll tell you what, nice bit of running, running all the way down to the 48. That's Marshawn Wells again, number 22. Right he picked up about al almost 20 on that play. Off the read and fake. Handed the ball to him twice, and he's combat. picked up almost 30 yards and two carries. Gives the white team good field position out on their own 48. Another high snap. This time the quarterback can handle it. Quick pass to the outside, cut inside, knocked down at the 49-yard line. That, that pass was complete to Odari Hibberts. This is Hibberts with Tackle the reception. That's a, a very good play by Nathan McCahill right there. Little high snap, kind of throws the timing off, but he gets it out and gets it to uh, Hibberts for a gain of about three. Yep. You got it, second and seven from the 49. McCahill doing a great job running this offense. Well, tuck it and it's gonna be Nailed from behind, Bruce, by your buddy, Nailed number 60. That's Todd Beatty, the second defensive lineman out of California. And you'll see him come off the backside. Once again, a little wide snap. There's 60 comes loose. And once again, good job by McCahill not to fumble the football. All right, so uh, well, what do we got? We're going to go to the uh, sidelines. McCahill banged up a little, a little banged bit. Banged up there. Banged up a little bit on the play. Well, we're going to take a, uh, an injury uh, timeout, I, I think. And with that. It'll be about third and eight, Charlie. Third and eight. See who they're going to bring in at quarterback. 5.05 in the uh, third period of play. Looks like Steph Kovic. Yeah. Steph Kovic in as a quarterback now. Andrew Stefkovic back in at that spot. Stefkovic looks. He'll run. He'll keep it. Nice cut inside. Going to take it over to 45 Number down five, about the 44-yard line. Going to be about a yard, maybe a yard and a half short. I think they'll go for it. Just a little bit down. Steph Watch it again on the replay. Stefkovic pulls it down right here. Good penetration again by number 70. Stefkovic. Good job of running the football. Fourth and one. Long one, maybe two. See what the call here is. Yep. I think we got procedure against the uh, offense. Yep. Now, now it's going to maybe put it into a punting situation. Four minutes left in the third. That's five yard penalty. He's going to take it back to about four down and seven. Now it looks like they're going to go for it, Charlie. Yep. I think you're right. Well, let's see now if they can pull that rabbit out of the hat. Andrew Stakovic is going to call a timeout and talk about it. Oh, I don't think he had the formation that he thought he was supposed to have, so he's going to call that timeout, timeout take it over, ball. and talk about it. While we have a chance, Bruce, let's talk about the good people at Physio Control. Physio Control is a proud USA football partner with the nation's leading AED provider is Physio Control. Learn more about how you can get Physio Control AEDs at usafootball.com backslash AED. Wow, Bruce, you said that like you knew what you were talking about. I practiced for three weeks. All right. Three weeks, we've been here with uh, 300 and some football guys from all over the uh, United States and uh, here's a the kick. They're yep. going to punt it away after the yeah, timeout. Yeah, they got to punt it away after that five-yard penalty. 25-yard line is where they will whistle it. 
So the blue team will get the ball back. 21-13 is the score. USA football coming at you. The video, the video work during uh, USA football is image video in North Kent, Ohio. And then uh, the guys in the broadcast booth, they come out of the ranks of Big Time Sports Ohio. And we are the uh, high school sports guys in northeastern Ohio. So, Bruce, it's got to be sweltering down there on that artificial turf. Yeah, it's been, uh, you know, the temperature's been going up and up. And uh, according to my sources, it says it is 88 degrees. It feels like 95. Wow, it does feel like 95. David DeLorio. DeLorio takes it down to the 24-yard line. Just gets back to the uh, original line of scrimmage. Here's a snap. Here's a dip. Now he's going to keep it. Out of the backfield comes Gregory Knight. Taking it across the 25 down to the 27 now. Check it out on the replay. The quarterback will keep it. This is Gregory Knight. Good job from the backside by number 30 from the white team, chasing it down. Picked up about two yards, going to bring up third and eight. All right, less than three to play now in the third. Back to pass. Here comes the heat. Uh-oh, he's going to shake the defender. Going to get by the left side. 30, 34 yard line, out of bounds. I think he's got enough for the first down. Wow, how about Talik Steele? He gets out of the initial grasp of number 88, Antonio Henderson, out of Georgia right here. Spins him around. Now he's going to be able to get out on the edge. Turns it upfield and picks up enough for the first down. From the 35. Yep. Out of the backfield. Tackle by number 30, Keith Euling. That's Euling and Henderson on the uh, tackle Keith for the white team. One on the play, going to bring up second down and nine. Second and nine with the uh, small pickup, Steele. Calling the shots there for the team in the blue. He'll take the snap. He's going to drop. He's going to pass across the middle. He's got his receiver down to the 48-yard line. And uh, how about Caden Padgett? That's, that's wide receiver out of Florida. Nice throw right on the seam here, Charlie. Good block, good protection. Good job of cradling the ball in. Picks up another first down. Yeah, so they continue to move the chains. With the clock running uh, with a minute 40 now in the third. Steele. Gives it to his running back, and uh-uh, no sir, baby, not this time, and good play defensively out there by the guys in the white. That's number three, Martavian Johnson, right here, good stick, good form tackle, drove the feet, drove him back, Martavian Johnson, defensive back out of Oklahoma. Wow, all the way from Oklahoma to make a great play like that. Pressure downfield had a guy open momentarily, but overthrows him for the incomplete pass. Actually had two receivers in the same area. Both of them were almost able to uh, follow in the long pass, but it's incomplete. Going to bring up third and ten. So another biggie here, another big play for the uh, blue offense, trying to move the chains, keep the drive alive here. Got a pretty good contest at. 21-13. Got him spread out here. Trips to the top, Charlie. Steele will rifle it, and I'll tell you what, put a lot of zip on it. Evan Fernandez, Bruce, probably shoulda, coulda, woulda had it, but a little high, a little yeah. behind. Tough, tough one. It's one of those 50-50 balls. It goes incomplete. Going to bring up fourth down. They're going to be forced to punt as we're under one minute left in the third. All right. So both teams now will 
set up in a punt formation. There's your kick. Kicker, I believe, is number three, Parker Hannon. Yep. Out of Georgia. Uh, the receiver down there was also number three, Parker Martavian Johnson. By Martavian Johnson. And the white the team. Right team, team. Yep. From and the 25-yard line. The 25 yard line. Down 21-13. They need to get a little something going here. Well, let's see who they uh, bring out. They've been uh, running uh, players in and out today. Yeah, remember last series, Nathan McHale got a little banged up, number yep. six. So we'll see uh, who comes out at quarterback. Now, yep. a good thing I see six out on the field, Charlie. All right, so that's kind of limping yeah. a little bit. But, but McKay Hill getting back into the lineup now on the field with just 50 seconds to play now in the third quarter. McKay Hill, up to, he takes the first snap after he gets banged up and he gets swarmed under by your buddy 93. Cage Sales, defensive, li defensive lineman out of Indiana. You'll see it right here, kind of a tough snap to handle. A lot of blue jerseys deep into that backfield right now. I think the blue team's trying to make a defensive statement here. Yep, we're winding down here now in our third period. About 20 seconds to play. Here's the pass. It's caught. And after a catch, he'll advance it down to the 30-yard line. So nice pass and catch that time by the white. You can see, I believe that's number 84, Kendall Knowles Jr., wide receiver out of Florida. Good catch with the hands. Turns it upfield. All right, that's going to do it. We have played three quarters of football. After three, 21-13, we'll be back with our fourth and final period after you uh, watch this. best in your house and then your state then get all the love you could be the best in this house you could be faster than the fastest you could carry on a legacy then add a couple of these and then make everyone want to be like you and you can stop there but you won't because you're not done yet for the athletes moving the game forward gatorade's creating the fuel to do the same fueling today fueling the future Back at Perry Stadium at Maslin Perry High School. USA football just about ready for fourth period action here now. The score 21-13. And Bruce, pretty good football game yeah. so far, my friend. Scoreless third quarter. Both defenses kind of took over there. Got a third and about five here for the white team. They need to try to get something going here. Down eight points, 21-13. Well, the good news is uh, Nathan McCahill is back on the field, and uh, he went off earlier in the football game, got banged up a little bit, so he being back means that uh, everything is okie-dokie, right? Haven't seen him run much. We'll see maybe right here might get a chance. Going to throw across the grain. Can't get it. He intended receiver out there, couldn't quite reach it. That was Andrew Margiotti. 
is incomplete. The think, intended receiver. I think McHale just banged up enough. He it's probably could have run first down, first down if he had, had good wheels, but I think he's banged up enough that uh, he couldn't pull it down and run for the first down. All right, so punt formation now. Let's see now as uh, the uh, kicker well, booted away, and that is big. Wow, how about that Jackson kid? Lander, that was Jackson Lander. Big number 90, Jackson Lander with the punt. So the blue team will get it back at a 21-13 score now. And here we are late in the game, and I would be remiss if I didn't thank our good friends from USA Football. What good people to work with and... Uh, and do athletic events with. That's a USA football located in Indianapolis, Bruce. But with what's going on over here in Stark County, Ohio, with the uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame and the NFL moving in, you have to wonder if maybe they might extend an olive branch to USA football to move to Canton, Ohio also. Running back will take it up to the 40-yard uh, line. Good hit, good stick that time by that's Drew DeMorant. Drew DeMorant, the linebacker, number 45. And running back, number seven on the draw play. And that is David Delorio, running back out of Illinois. Picks up about eight yards. You know, some of those linemen out there don't look like uh, middle school guys, do they? <laughs> huh? Uh-oh, inside the 45, down to about the 47 yard line on the carry and that was late the card with the football see right here read play again comes up, picks up good yardage first down all right so with that first and 10 now from the 47 yard line here's the give and the give is to a Jaden on the keeper, number 24, the the pod. Now at quarterback for the blue, and while I've got a chance, the final the play is going to I want to thank the good people five. at Squad Locker. Squad Locker, a sponsor of USA Football. Many, many thanks to Squad Locker. And with this, down to the 35-yard line goes Darius Brown. Here's Darius Brown, the wide receiver with the yak. See right here, good job. Picks up yardage after catch. Pass came from Nurschel. Remember, Nurschel hooked up in the uh, second quarter with Bradley for a 28-yard touchdown pass. 8.07. To play in the game. Again, Lincoln on the backfield. Leighton Card down to the 25 yard line. And Stop Bruce, about this, about this time every game, we start close. thinking about a player of the game, but check this out. This kid's got to be in the running. Yep. Carr, good job. Picked up about six. The blue team gets one in here, Charlie. It'll pretty much salt this game away, give them a 15 point lead if they can get it in here. All right. Quick throw out to the uh, left side is going to fall incomplete, but that time Jaden Nershaw really had to get rid of the football because here comes the D from the white team. Third and about long five, four. long four. They're in four down territory though here, Charlie, so pick up a little, if not the full five yards on this down. Here's the snap, here's the give, that time we. Too much D by the white team and Bruce, who do you got, number that, 30 in the white? That was number 30, Kate, 30, Kate Euling coming Lincoln off the edge right here. You see him coming at the bottom of the picture. Cade Euling with a nice stop. Now it's gonna bring up fourth down and about six and a half, seven. I'd look. Seven minutes now. Well, looks like they're going to punt the ball. They have number three in the game. That's Parker Hannon, the punter. 
Well, here is the kick. Try to pin him deep. That ball is going to go out of bounds. So they're going to mark it at the uh, eight-yard line. Eight-yard line, not too shabby. Yeah. Off a corner kick with an eight-point lead. Going to make him go 92 yards to try to score. Well, even though we've uh, got under seven minutes to play in game number two, I want you to stay tuned because we got two more games coming your way. The guys in the booth for game three and four will be our booth buddies, Jeff Shreve, along with Troy Richardson. Troy and Jeff will bring you all the action in game three and game four coming up here later on this afternoon. So they're going to spot it at the eight-yard line. Here comes the uh, white offense out of the huddle and on the sidelines. Looks like the quarterback's going to be uh, Keyshawn Harris. I think he, that's number 12. Oh, is he quick? Got good feet. What are you going to do, Bruce? Are you going to put it in the air, my friend? Yeah, I think he might go with his feet. There's a read play again. Oh. Uh oh, he loses the football off fumble, and it's a touchdown for the blue. He fumbled at the one. The ball bounced right up into the hands, Bruce, of number 47. Who, who is that guy? Elon Green, the linebacker out of Massachusetts. Well, you talk about being at the right place at the right time. This is it. Let's see if we can get the number of the guy who actually caused the fumble. 88's the first there. That looks like uh, 52. And that would be Blake Gotcher, linebacker out of Texas, caused the fumble and popped right into the hands Parker of hands. Keelan the Green the for the point. touchdown. All right, so 27-13 now is the score, and we're going to line them up for the PAT. And... Uh, well, what do you think? But they're going to give it, right? Right down the slot. All right, right down the slot for the point. And, of course, Parker Hannon for the blue. So 6.35 to play in the contest, a 27-13 ball game. And uh, if I remember correctly, Bruce, three big turnovers so far in the ball game have created scores for yeah. the opposing team. Yeah, it sure has. That was that was the biggest one. Actually puts them up 28-13. They haven't put the uh, extra point on the scoreboard for some reason. 15-point lead. Uh, that brings up the question, can you go for two points in these games or only one? If you, if you can't go for two, that means you're down three scores. That's right. <clears throat> but the white team bringing them out. See who we have a quarterback now for the white team. Keyshawn Harris still in the game. They might have to open it up a little bit here now. Try to hit some. Yep. Well, just as we say that, we got to <laughs> keep it on the ground. Up to the 40 goes uh, Francisco Espana. So Francisco Espana. Carry the mail to the 40. Pick up about five off the read. Good ball to the side. Second down and uh, five. Second five from the 40. The give out of the backfield. They're on 18. This is Nigel. Moore. Moore going to take it down to the, well, they're going to spot it at the 30, what, 37 yard line. About a 22 yard run. There's a burst of speed right there. Man, he's covered, covered some ground quick. Nice run. They can get a ball in here. They could, uh, you know. Wow, where's the linebackers on that? Where was any blue shirts on now? Yeah, they were busy. And here he is. Uh-oh. Now they're going to fake to more. Number 12, Keyshawn, number 12 Harris, Keyshawn Harris is going to keep the football. Back over by number 71. Picked up about three on the play. 
Here's the replay. This time it's a fake read. The quarterback throws it out. Tries to follow him up in the hole. Good pursuit by the blue. Clock rolls down close to five minutes left here in the game. White team needs to get in and get in quickly. Get the ball back. Throw out to the left side. They're going to give him, a, gonna give him the 28 on the catch. And they got to be enough for a first down. And uh, Hibberts with the catch. Oh, Dowry Hibberts with the catch. Here it is again, Bruce, on the replay. Good throw, catch. We bring up third down and a long run. Short, short, about a yard right. short. Helmet comes off, so he has to come out of the game for a play. Third and one. Third and one. Right inside the 30-yard line. They'll get the first down. Not by much, but they will get the first down. My Sean Wells. On the run, off tackle. Pulled by number 85. First down. 4.30, clock running, 28-13 from the 27. Here comes the white team. Quarterback will keep it. Keyshawn Harris inside the 25, down to the 23-yard line. So Keyshawn Harris on the quarterback keeper will pick up four now. That'll make it second and six. For the guy who's in the way. The only thing, the only problem now with the clock running down, you can't onside kick. No. <laughs> you got to hope the defense can get them to cough up something if you get if you get a score in here. So uh, Harris looks downfield, pumps, brings it in. We'll keep it down to the 20 yard line. So he's going to pick up three. We're going to call it third and three now. Three and a half. Third down at about three. Harris on the give. Wow, good knee that time. Yeah, good. That was Cameron Andrews, the running back with nowhere to go on right the handoff. I, I think that's number 62 that busts through right here. Yep, there he comes. Knife through Jared Saylor, who is a defensive lineman out of Texas. Blew that play up. Now it's going to bring up a fourth down play. Five yards to go for first down. Reminder, All right, so a timeout on the field now. Going to take a little, uh, little fluid break down there on the field. Timeout called by the guys in the white. And uh, with that, I want to remind you, game three and four coming yet this afternoon here on USA Development Game football and Bruce your buddy uh, Jeff Shreve and Troy Richardson will make the call in the big time sports booth hand it off it might cool off a little bit for those guys up here all right and while we're thinking about it Bruce talk to me about the athletes favorite drink Gatorade, of course, Charlie, is one of the proud sponsors of USA Football. For athletes who move the game forward, we're creating the fuel to do the same, innovating beyond hydration to create the future of sports. Fuel, fueling today, fueling the future. Gatorade. How about Stokovich now in there? What happened to uh, the quarterback that was driving him down the field, Bruce? During that timeout, they put uh, Andrew Stokovich back in at quarterback. Yeah, they must have banking on his passing. They tried to throw a fade rate route down the sideline for the touchdown and uh, goes incomplete. And they're going to have to turn the ball over with a little less than three minutes to go in the game. All right, 28 13, 256 to play in the contest. The blue team 
will get it back and Bruce will milk and work the clock, will they not? Yeah, I would say so. The white team only has one timeout left. Down three scores, it's gonna be uh, very difficult now for them. The give out of the backfield, up to the uh, 24 yard line. In there at quarterback, Keon Johnson where, wears number nine. So Johnson will call the signals here for the blue late in the contest in the backfield, number eight, Leighton Carr beside him. This is Carr with the football. It's gonna be about two and a half yards short, I believe, Charlie, but the clock continues to run. All right, and, and uh, Bruce, about this time every game. Here's the pass out on the flats. It's caught. A lot of defenders there waiting for him at about the 33-yard line. That'll be enough for a first down, though, Charlie. Keep possession of the ball down to 157, and the clock's moving. All right, it's about this time every game. We have to start thinking about a player of the game, Bruce. A lot of good athletes out there. A lot of players uh, probably deserve uh, that honor as player of the game. All right. So with that, the ball to the 35-yard line. And uh, how about our good friends from Cutter, from Cutter Gloves? And you know what Cutter Gloves sponsors for us, don't you, Bruce? Cutter Gloves sponsors the catch of the game. All right. And we're going to bring it to you right after right after this play they're going to take it over to the 40 down to the 42 yard line clock clock moving a minute to play now in the contest third and a long two yep in no hurry of course the blue team with the football and the big lead Here's a gift out of the back. Uh-oh, uh-oh, who do we got? Keon Johnson is gonna keep it, and Johnson's gonna get it all the way down to the 35, uh, we call it the 34-yard line. That'll move the chains and stop the clock at 29 seconds. Picked up about 25 yards on that scramble and reverse field. Clock rolls under 30 seconds left. All right, Bruce, let's go to our cutters uh, catch of the game. Call it for us, buddy. And this is going to see, you're going to see the quarterback's Nurschel, and he's going to hit Bradley over the middle, number 11, into the end zone, 28-yard touchdown pass. Extra point was good. Gave the Blue a 14-6 to lead. All right, so there you have it, the uh, cutter's gloves uh, catch of the game. That's Baron Bradley, wide receiver for the blue team and Bruce with 18 seconds to play. We are real soon now going to tell you who that player of the game is. Here it is should be the last carry the last snap for the ball game going to be stood up at the 20 yard line. Yep let's talk about number nine in the blue and we just talked about him and that is Baron Bradley. Here we go. Number nine, the player of the game is Keon Johnson. It's a couple of big runs for him. I believe this is the 60 yard run right here. 65 yard, Keon also scored a touchdown on a seven yard run. And Keon Johnson, number nine out of Maryland is our player of the game. All right, so congratulations to uh, everybody today involved in USA football. We had a good contest, our final score, 28-13. Uh, stay right there because we've got game three and four coming up shortly. And as always, we want to thank you for riding along with the guys in the big time booth. For USA football and image video, this is the mellow tones of Charlie Jones saying good night, everybody.